What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today I'm going to show you how to make distressed edges in Adobe Illustrator. Dread Labs. All right, so this is going to be a fairly quick one. I just wanted to demonstrate a little bit about the roughen effect, show you what effects are in Illustrator, what they do, and how to actually manipulate them and how to, you know, use them in the correct way. And a cool technique that I use to make even more irregular rounds. So let's just get started. The first thing I want to show you is this mask. This mask is part of this Thread Shapes package, Volume Six. It contains over 20 masks in different styles from different cultures. Anyways, so if we take a look at this and we zoom in, we can see that this is a fairly sharp vector drawn art and if you would be dragging this into photoshop you would probably distress these edges with a displacement map but if you don't want to go through all of that hassle and you want to keep this in a vector based space but you want to roughen the edges a little bit there's actually a really cool effect for that before i want to talk about that let's just see how this actually works so essentially every object in illustrator has an appearance and if we take a look at this we have selection essentially what we're seeing here right now is the appearance of this mask is it has a red fill and no stroke uh, let's take a closer look at this by going to window appearance so this is that little window let me just detach that real quick and as you can see uh, it's a group and the group has contents and there's also the opacity anyways um what we want to do is roughen the edges a little bit we're going to do that by going to effect distort and transform roughen and this gives you a crazy crazy effect so back in the day when i wasn't really like that much experimenting in illustrator and stuff like that i usually clicked away when i saw something like this essentially the only thing we need to do is change from relative to absolute and this way we can change the size in increments of pixels instead of percentages um, so with a very subtle uh, roughen a size of three pixels and we can also increase the detail this basically means how many like jagged edges there will be per inch so if we increase this as you can see the edges get a little bit more like fine roughened if that's the correct word anyways i like to keep this between 10 and 20 somewhere uh, 14 for me is fine you can also choose between smooth edges or corner edges and as we have, want to have this like a little bit jagged i want to make this look like it's like carved out of stone or something so i want to keep it with the corner and then i'm going to click ok and if i just like deselect everything you can see that the edges here are actually like really you know distorted or jagged already so let's just select this once again and you might have already saw it but uh, under the appearance panel there's now also a roughen effect here and the cool thing is we can toggle this on and off if we want to see the difference so this is without and this is with uh, it's a little bit hard to see so let me just zoom in a little bit closer so this is with the roughen effect and this is without the rough effect. Very straightforward, really simple. Cool part about this is, however, we can also stack multiple effects on top, on top of each other. So let's go to effect once more, distort and transform, and then click on tweak. And again, this is something that's really, really hectic. And that's mostly because the amount is set to a relative instead of absolute. So let's just go with absolute and just pick one pixel and maybe two depending on how harsh we want to do this, but we can click OK. And now the rough and any tweak are also visible within the appearance panel. Uh, so essentially they are stacked on top of each other, which even results in a rough uh, edge, as you can see. Um, so no need for displacement maps whatsoever. You can just keep doing this in Illustrator and have it look a little bit more natural. And you can also, of course, see, okay, which one works better for me? Is it the rough or the tweak? So the tweak is doing a little bit less here. It's more like broad things uh, looking at this. Of course, it's also a very big difference whether how many anchor points there are in a different shape as you can see the main head does have a lot uh, this one has a little bit more so you might want to clean up your shapes if you want to uh, or add more anchor points uh, if you want to uh, have a little bit more control over how many how, how rough you want edges to be so for example what i want to do is if i select this one and go to object path add anchor points and I actually have this set to a shortcut, so the more anchor points I will be adding, the rougher the edges will be, as you can see. So yeah, if it is something that you uh, want to get into, uh, that's how this works. Again, this was a quick tutorial, guys. Essentially, what I wanted to show you is, you know, how to use effects in Illustrator, how to use the appearance panel, and how to stack multiple effects on top of each other. See if you can experiment with a couple of things and hopefully make some beautiful art. If you want to get the project files for this tutorial, the shape will actually be included, so you can use this mask in your own personal project if you become a patron of mine. If you want to get the full package, you can get it on dreadlabs.net anyways uh, if you want to become a patron you don't only get access to this project file but to all of the other project files from all of my tutorials and i have over 100 i think besides that you also get a 15 percent discount in my dreadlabs asset web store so you will get a 15 percent discount on the full package here as well uh, as well as an exclusive discord role in the dreadlabs discord community if you go one tier up there will also be some exclusive tutorials for you as well so if this is something that you're interested in there's a link down in the description and if you don't have the budget to become a patron of dreadlabs of course that's completely fine you could also just leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already Okay, so with all of that being said, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out, and hopefully see you guys in the next tutorial.